Today I wanted to test the speed of how fast GPT-3 can write blog posts, so I created a script where the only thing I had to do was put in the title of the blog post and the rest was automated. Uh, I don't know about the quality of the text output, but uh, I left a link in the description so you can go read for yourself. Anyways, let's see how I did this. First, I just wanted to say I don't think anyone should publish just unedited AI content online because, to be honest, I don't think it's very helpful. You should always go over, check for facts, edit and make it your own. Uh, but anyways, now that's out of the way, let's just have a look at how I did this. What I started with was just making this uh, topical map of the topic AI. So I created this. So this was everything I wanted to write about. So basically what I did was I asked for the script to create a blog post of every these 22 steps I think it was and then I headed over to my gpt3 python script in this variable main topic I just filled in everything I wanted to write about here so this was basically all the h1 titles topics call it what you want so the only thing I had to do was fill in this and then I headed over to the terminal and pressed play so let's see how that turned out Before we check the results, I just wanted to let you know that the next week, most likely, I will be starting up a membership here on YouTube. Uh, my plan is to do step-by-step -step tutorials on how to create your own Python scripts uh, with the GP3 API or other APIs, I guess. And I thought we could do like a community GitHub repo where we share our scripts. And I got a different other plans uh, evolving generative AI and AI art and all the things that are happening now in this space so watch out for that if you are interested okay so let's have a look at some outputs here uh, let's take this one applications of ai in healthcare uh, and here you can see i'm going to zoom this in a bit hope you can see this now uh, we got five suggestions for uh, the h1 title we got an introduction we got a few paragraphs here what are the benefits of ai in healthcare how is ai transforming healthcare understanding the applications of ai in healthcare and we have this conclusion so i kind of like this uh, format here it turned out pretty good uh, we also have this extra part where sometimes it doesn't include uh, introduction and conclusion so here we have an extra conclusion and introduction if we need it yeah very happy how the script perform in this test now i'm just gonna head over to my test website upload a few posts and then let's have a look at how it turned out here we are over at my test website superstrongai.com very fancy and here we can see all the blog posts. I think I just uploaded, was it 10? Just to test, I didn't upload everyone. But yes, I just wanted to fill out this uh, homepage. Uh, so let's have a look at an article here. Let's open this one. Uh, let's do this one. So how is AI different from other types of intelligence? So it's quite nice structured. It's not, the posts are not that long because I didn't want that. You can check this out. I also included some images from uh, Mid Journey. I think they turned out pretty good. I was very happy with them, actually. And yeah, you can see here, it's pretty much a standard blog post. Uh, around five to 800 words, I think. Maybe a bit longer. But the format is easy to read, and I think it turned out pretty good. But mm, you gotta be very careful with this, because the content can be false, and it can be not very helpful. It can be very repetitive. So always read over every post you if you're gonna use this to post online. Yeah, but overall, I'm pretty happy how this turned out. Let me just go back to home here. I like the consistency of the images here on the front page. Yeah, very simple page, but uh, yeah, working well. Okay, so I hope this gave you some inspiration to start using the GPT-3 API. Uh, anyways, check out some of my other videos here. There should be something good about generative AI. And have a great day. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.